Hi friends from all over the world. My name is Daniel Shafarenko and I'm here with Asher and Trader. And as you can hear in the news, there is a lot of situation happening right now in Israel. And we want to do sort of an emergency prayer request. So, uh, Asher, there is... You know, when you say <laughs> a lot's happening, you're talking the last few hours. This is yes, a live exactly. shot. We weren't even planning on this. We've got to do it now. We had like four or five security events uh, happen in this the last few hours, so we need some prayer. Amen. So, there is something happening in Hebron? Can you explain us more? Well, in uh, Hebron, you remember that's a city where Abraham is buried. That's about uh, 40 kilometers from, uh, from uh, Jerusalem, not that far. And uh, uh, there, there was some events uh, yesterday, the day before, of some young people throwing Molotov cocktails. It actually hit one of the uh, Magavniks, which are the uh, strong, really experienced uh, police border guards. They actually went in and he sort of caught on fire. They knew how to handle it, and they, uh, so it, it wasn't a big deal for them. But the next day, which was uh, last night, they brought in a different group of soldiers who were less experienced than the border police. And they saw some young people that were about to throw these Molotov cocktails, and they shot at them, and they killed a 17-year-old boy. And that, and that, this was this was about 20, 21 hours ago. And that's gone across the whole area uh, in the West Bank around there. So, and that's caused some some uprising. And I think that's probably related to the cause of why these other things have happened. Yeah. So, and then afterwards, it just like happened in the Temple Mount. Right, there was actually two events that happened within a, f a few hours after that, a few hours before this, two at the Temple Mount. One was, um, uh, one person came up, uh, uh, all these people are young, a young uh, a terrorist came up and actually shot at a group of soldiers. He hit one of the soldiers in the hand, but then all the other soldiers turned him and they, they wiped him out immediately. He was declared dead on, on the spot. Uh, we, and then there was another case, which was much more serious, a case of... Um, uh, trying to trying to run them over with a car. Somebody came up to the to the, ju the junction at the Temple Mount in a car, slowed down, saw a group of twelve uh, Golani soldiers, and sped up and and hit right into them. He, they, he injured twelve of them. One of them was injured uh, severely. Eleven uh, just lightly injured. But he actually then pulled the car out and then got out and ran away. And at this moment, they haven't found him yet. Wow. I'm, uh, we don't. We have no doubt they're going to find him. But you see how close this event is. This just happened. They haven't even uh, found the less person who did it. Less than twenty-four hours. Yeah, Everything no. <laughs> less than twenty-four this hours. This is even less than that. This is just yeah. a few hours ago. So. And not only this in Israel, also outside in Israel, in Syria, something happened. Also, can you explain us more? Yes. Well, in in Syria, I just want to remind you, you ought to be praying with us. Uh, Israel has a policy of when. Uh, pro-Iranian groups in Syria have weapons built up that we attack those to stop. We've tried to tell both to the Syrians and to the Russians that we're not attacking any of them. But if, if there are pro-Iranian forces that are declaring war on Israel, if they build up armaments there, we will stop them. So this was just last night. There, was a, uh, there has been a buildup of uh, Ira pro-Iranian forces of artillery um, that's um, uh, rocket launchers uh, just outside of Damascus and uh, apparently Israel uh, shot and destroyed that, the, that, that, that launch, those launch pads and uh, in that also there were uh, reports say that there were 12 pro-Iranian soldiers there in Syria that were killed so that's another area of, uh, of tension that's going on there. Wow. And not all of this. Before we start to shoot, one of uh, from w w one of my friends, your friend, and someone from the Revive Israel team, he came and he shared something with us. Maybe you can explain us uh, who he is and. Yes. Well, when you say shoot, I just was we're talking about filming, not shooting. <laughs> but uh, we. So anyway, he, uh, one of our dear friends. Uh, we have a, uh, a few of our staff that are Arabs uh, and Palestinian and Israeli Arabs. So they were also telling us that this, uh, these two weeks uh, after the Trump announcement of the peace plan, there's been more tension between Israel and the Palestinians. There's been a cutting off, a lessening of the cooperation between the Palestinians and the Israeli government. And that has resulted in the past couple of days of, of uh, electricity 
you know, shortages, stoppages. So they were saying these uh, up to days, if, days it's varying from two hours to seven hours a day that they don't have uh, uh, electricity. Of course, it's cold there. So this is all part of the tensions that's going on there. And that's why we're turning for emergency uh, prayer from all of you, our friends. We want you not just to be watching this. We want to, we want to see uh, creating a, a spiritual prayer intercessory army around the world to be praying with us every week now. Amen. Amen. And uh, before we starting to film, you talk with me about uh, Matthew. Yes, well, we, I've been thinking about this. It's funny. It's easy to remember this verse number. It's 24-7. 24-7 prayer. But Matthew 24-7 says this. Let me just remind you. It says, For nation will rise up against nation. That's in, in Greek, that's ethnos. Ethnic groups, different people groups will rise up against people groups. And kingdom against kingdom. That's Basilia. Basilia against Basilia. And it says there will be famines and pestilences and earthquakes, which in, uh, which in Greek is limos, loimos, and sismos. You, you've probably heard that word sismos, like a seismology for, for studying earthquakes. But that what it's talking about there is that um, limos is things that happen to the economy. It's not just famine. But it's just we, you have a, a financial disaster. And then it says loimos is an epidemic, a health ep epidemic like we see today with the, with the coronavirus. And then he says earthquakes. So it's, it's saying that the, actually the, the earth, the physical planet responds to spiritual conflict. So we're saying this has to happen because we're having spiritual conflict. So we see what's going on all over the world. You've got vo volcanoes and earthquakes and everything happen. And Yeshua is saying that all of these things, this is going to happen. It's interesting. The verse before this, he said, now look, I'm telling you this ahead of time so that you won't be afraid. Now let's remember that. Our, many people around the world are reacting to all this news and they're just worried, no, what's going to happen? No, no, no. We don't do that as, as believers. We believe, we analyze the situation, we respond in faith, and we pray. And then he said, this is just the beginning of the end times tribulation. So what we're in right now, this is not the intense part of the, of the end times tribulation, but it is saying we're moving into those stages. So we want to be ready, and I want us to pray. I want to mention one last thing, and that is what Yeshua was saying was these outward, these outward uh, problems mm -hmm. are evidence of a spiritual battle. Spiritual battle, moral battle, people battle, angels... But he's also telling us that because he wants us to pray because our prayers can affect the situation. Amen. Remember when Daniel prayed, when he prayed, we understand the mo He said, from the first word you two pray, angels start to move. So we don't, want, we don't want to be passive in looking at these news events. We want to pray together in faith and believe immediately that our prayers can affect the situation for good. And that when we pray, angels will begin to move and it can change the political situation, the economic situation, the weather. It can change anything. It can change the, the epidemics even. So let's remember. And I also understand this, that we don't, we don't need to know all the details. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is, is pray for God's will to be done, for His kingdom to come. And we, we believe that this is influencing the situation for good and that angels are moving. But we need to do it. We need to do it, and we need to do it with faith. So that's what we're asking you. Pray with us. Let's believe Amen. together. Amen. Let's pray, everybody, together. I want to encourage you, uh, you guys at home, please pray with us right now when me and Asha pray. Just don't watch, w don't watch us. Just pray. Listen to us and pray with us. Amen. Amen. Father, Father, we we asking for your willing on the earth. We, uh, we, we, we don't know what's happening, but we're not afraid. Father, we're not afraid because we know that you are the king of the world and you are controlling everything. And we're just asking for, for, for your help, Father, that, that you will, will, say, will, will open the eyes of, of, of the Jews, open the eyes of the Palestinians, open the eyes of, of, of people that hate each other, that the answer is you. Mm. Father, I'm praying that open the eyes of the, the terrorists that the thinking that killing is the right thing. Open their eyes to see that someone died for them, for their sins, and they don't need to kill anybody. Somebody already pay about, about their sins. Mm. Father, I'm praying for, for brainwash that the 
two cultures sometimes having that that you will open the heaven and touch the people and show them the tr the truth and the truth will set them free in the name of Yeshua amen, amen. amen. heavenly father we pray right now with faith with confidence that from our very words right now heavenly father that you are listening that your will is going to be done, that your kingdom is coming, that angels are moving. And Lord, in the midst of all these conflicts, that, that you are moving. And we're asking you right now for angels to intervene, for your Holy Spirit to touch the people's hearts. We ask to change this all for good, Lord, for the salvation of Jewish people, of Arabs, of everyone in this area, Lord. We ask for your kingdom to advance. We're uh, inviting you, Heavenly Father, to come in right now in all parts of our society, in our people, in our lives, and change this situation for good. Even as we pray right now, we thank you, Yeshua, that you told us 2,000 years ago. You said, be ready for this to happen, and don't be afraid, but pray with faith. And Father, we all come to you right now as in the image of Daniel the prophet, and we are all just praying and believing that as we speak right now that angels are coming in and moving, heavens are open, and you're changing the situation for good. And we believe in that, Father, in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Asher, for being here with us. Amen. And thank you for our audience. I want to encourage you to like the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Please comment down below. Asher just told me before we start filming. What was the question? If there is any specific question, maybe we can answer. So ask the question. We will answer for it. And share this broadcast. Share this video. God bless you.